Hey guys, Graphite here and today I've got a brand new tutorial for you. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a custom brush in CorelDRAW X6. So let's get right into it. Here we've got our A4 page. Here it is. And we're going to start by going to the Artistic Media section. Now I've already made a video on this, so if you want to go check it out, there'll be a link in the description down below. So if we go over here to our left hand bar and hold left click, we can see here's our Artistic Media. Or alternatively, you can press I on your keyboard. And you can see up here we've got our bar as usual. And we want to go to the brush section, which is already selected, and custom down here. So you've got all these and then custom at the bottom. Here we've got some custom brushes that I made earlier, and these are the style that I'm going to show you how to make today. So here's just a regular line, and you can see this brush is quite smooth and flowing. So today I'm going to show you how to make this really nice brush. So First of all, we're going to create a rectangle using our rectangle tool here and make a nice long rectangle in the middle and let go. And then we're going to go over here to our colors bar and fill it with black. Now this can be any color you want, but we'll get to that later. And then we go up here to the outline tool and click none. Now this is just a personal preference, but when creating a brush, I prefer not to have an outline because it just adds sort of width to the shape that you don't need and now we're just dealing with the actual box itself and nothing else. So to manipulate this we need to go up here to our shape tool and you can see at the moment that it's not converted to curves which is what we need to manipulate it so we can press Control Q and now you can see these nodes have appeared on the corner of the shape. So if we zoom in now I've also done a video on converting shapes and text to curves so I'll leave a link to that in the description as well so to add a node we can double click and you can see this pops up here and we want to do one right below it and then on either side as well this will make it really easy for us to manipulate the shape from here we need to now delete the corner ones now if we double click on these like we did to add one to the corners you can see they vanish and now you can see we've got this kind of diamond shape now this is basically the brush but we're going to make it a little bit smoother by zooming in again and dragging these corner pieces upwards and drag that down and you can see it's a more flatter shape overall so now if we go back to our artistic media you can see that this save button up here which was previously greyed out has now appeared in colour so we can click it and name it test brush one and save now you can see up here at the bottom we've got our new brush so if we now draw a line you can see that we've got a very similar brush to the one we had before now the fact that these nodes are off center to the actual shape doesn't matter because when you draw a line it stretches everything out anyway now if we delete this and go back to our shape we can also change the color so if we want to make it say orange we can make it orange and when we go to our artistic media you can see it's grayed out select the shape it appears in color we can click save again and name it test brush 2 save and now you can see when I drop down menu it's appeared here at the bottom all new brushes will appear beneath the last ones this is useful if you're say creating a, an image or something out of line that needs to be a specific color and you don't want to change them all at the end or individually as you go through this is quite nice to be able to do and last but not least if you want to delete a brush because you've got a lot stored in here or you want to get rid of one that you've been using then you can select it and click the delete button here and it'll ask are you sure you want to delete the stroke and it, if you click yes you can see it vanishes and it's gone so if we do this again delete gone and now we've only got two left now bear in mind that the way of saving, deleting and accessing your custom brushes will always be the same. The actual creating of this brush was just one that I really liked. So feel free to mess around with lots of different brush designs and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below if there's anything else you want to see. Thank you very much for watching and see ya!